to walk the Bodhisattva way, there are many understandings that you need to develop. First is, this is not something that everybody can understand. You must have the parami, you must have the affinity with the Supreme Vehicle to go this way. Then you must have had in the past great beings, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas to guide you in your cultivation. Then after that, you develop the understanding Then your faith must be very strong. That faith to plant the seed of Bohi means to develop the Bohi mind. The basis of the Bodhisattva way is Bodhi Singh or Bohi mind. Bohi is a Pali word that represent or the meaning is enlightenment. So the mind that seeks enlightenment or the mind that is enlightened. So this planting the seed of Bohi to develop the Bohi mind that has this efficacy and power to go this way is a very unique understanding discovered by Samasa Buddha people who have done this before. As I later on, I will uh, read to you inside the Blue Book. The five stages of Bohemian development. These five stages of Bohemian development are very important. It like complete the Bodhisattva training. So, Bohi mind, once developed with faith, understanding, sincerity, you must from there diligently take the four basic power of a Bodhisattva. But because you have this Bohi mind planted, this Bohi mind can help you generate the causes and conditions for you to go this way whenever you take birth, whether you have sasana or no sasana. But if your vow is not formatted in a way that can generate this type of understanding to go this way, then most of the time, if you just take the basic, basic vow without all the other understanding, then the Bodhisattva that started all this will take a long time to actually realize or progress. Because without sasana, normally those who take the Bodhisattva will find it very difficult to progress. Yeah. Because every birth you come, your form and mind don't have the what they call causes and conditions to develop all this understanding fast. Then by the time you reach an age where, let's say, you still manage to meet up with people who can talk to you about this, but you already too old, then before you can even do anything else or achieve anything else to develop the progress to connect back you're already about to die. So that is the reason why. But with this type of format, it's different. Where I teach you to make special aspiration to walk the Bodhisattva way, means here the evoking of power, merits, and blessing is very important. So here I mentioned making the special aspiration to walk the Bodhisattva way, and this one is very important. By the power of whatever blessings and wholesomeness that this nature of mind had cultivated from the distant past till now, may arise the causes and condition for this nature of mind to have the following right Dhamma understanding, life after life. Whenever it chooses to come, 
or it has to come as a form of mind. So this understanding is very important. First, of course, it's the three right view. Right view with regards to the law of karma, karma and yama. Right view with regards to the law of dependent origination of Paticca Samupada or the dwelling, which is Chitta Niyama. Then lastly, right view with regards to the Four Noble Truth, Dhamma Niyama. These are the essence of the Buddha's teaching within Noble Eightfold Path. Then the second important aspiration is to understand the two aspects of the five aggregates of form and mind clearly, they are the direct sea, to realize that they are all conditioned arising entity, cause of phenomena, hence impermanent, leading to suffering, non-self, not me, and empty. That these so, so called living beings in our case, the human being or the fire and creates a form of mind. It's just a chemically conditioned vehicle and tool for us to come to this existential world, to develop the cultivation and experience all of the beauty and wonders of life. So use it with wisdom to arise right thought, right speech, and right action to be a blessing to all and not to be deluded by it to constantly recite the following, following, uh, constantly recite with understanding the following Dhamma profoundly, just like our morning chanting, eh? Rupang Anichang, Rupang Anatta, Vedana Anichang, Vedana Anatta, Sanya Anichang, Sanya Anatta, Sankara Anichang, Sankara Anatta, Vinyana, Vinyana Anatta, uh, sorry, Anicca, Vinyana Anatta. Then Sabe Sankara Anicca, Sabe Sankara Dukkha, Sabe Dhamma Anatta. These are very important understanding. When you cannot understand this, you cannot break free from Sakaraviti. Then you don't know the condition Dhamma. You cannot live life. You may meditate and realize the unconditioned, but you don't understand this, which is the other complementary condition Dhamma. You cannot be complete to have the understanding, to understand life and live life. That's why this second aspiration is very important. Then the third one is, having developed the above right view, this nature of my vow to always keep the following three sets of pure precepts. 